What's good? This is Marcus DeFingas back with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk all about the track or the plugins that I use to create trailer music. So these are plugins that I've, I didn't realize that I've had over the years that I've bought uh, recently um, because I've been diving into this trailer music space. Um, ones that I've won in contests and also some free plugins. So I'll tell you all about that. Speaking of free plugins, go to defingas.com slash free plugins, defingas.com slash free plugins to check out my free plugins guide. There's over 30 free plugins in there that you can use. I'll show some of them today in this video, but there's over 30 free plugins that will actually unlock hundreds and hundreds of free sounds that you can use in your music productions. That is defingas.com slash free plugins. Check that out. All right, let's get right into it. I have these categorized into these categories. So these are sort of like the stems. When I stem out the uh, the session, I have drums and percussion, stomps, claps, snaps, shouts, um, NRA, uh, cinematic drum loops, piano, strings, brass, woodwinds, vocals, booms, drops, downers, sub hits, whooshers and whoosh bangs, risers, hits, and impacts, effects, brahms, drones, pads, guitars, and synths. I have 174 tracks. I do not use all 174 tracks. In fact, if you notice, I use Logic Pro here. All the tracks are actually disabled. And what I do is I enable them one at a time, depending on what I need. And I don't enable all of the stems. I actually break them out. So we're going to break out each of them. I'm going to show you what they look like. I'm not going to play any of the sounds because this video would be really long if I started playing sounds, but I'm going to just show you some of the UI there. So let's start with the drums. I believe I can, let's just do them one track at a time. That way, hopefully it won't blow up my system. Um, and we'll see what happens. So we'll start with, uh, actually, I think I can do all the drums at once. We'll do all the drums. I know some libraries in particular are really heavy on my computer, so I can't open all of them at once. For example, some of the strings, when we get there, I may have to do that one at a time. But we'll start with Heaviosity Master Ensemble Drums. Let's see if I can find the UI uh, over here, right here, Master Sessions Ensemble Drums. There are some uh, loops in there. There are uh, single loops, loop menus. There are multis in there. It's a really great, powerful plugin. I actually like to use the um, Massive Hordes High RAM, and I just play different keys. Um, so these are actually spread out across different keys, different octaves. So these would be like the low drums, and you have low drums tight. I think you have mids and highs you have tom lows um so really really great uh ui here there's really powerful effects you can have in there i really use these to layer sort of my drums to build out my war drums my massive drums um for these sync and trailer music stuff a uh, really really powerful set i believe a lot of these plugins are actually on sale now i hope to release this video during this black friday weekend um and hopefully a uh, black friday uh, around the holidays just check the deals for black friday uh christmas new year's definitely check out for deals for discounts on a lot of these plugins um i believe heaviosity is actually doing a sale now also so next we have splash sound percussion war ensemble i have actually a couple of those in this uh template and they are actually free the ones i'm using are free you can also buy more but i have war ensemble here really great ui here you can add epicness or add some sort of distortion there you have some uh, mic options there filters uh compressors so really really great plugin um let me see i'll show all of those at once i have the Epic Kit is a, another free version of the Splash Sound Percussion Elements Kit. So the Epic Kit here, let's see if I can get that to load up um, really quick. Uh, let's get that to single and we will close this. Uh, Splash Sound Elements Epic Kit, another free one. You see the UI is a little bit different here. You can blow up the world there. You have some mic options there. So very similar, you have stage and rhythm. So you can really change some of the settings there in this free plugin. Splash Sound is a free plugin for this uh, particular kit. And then I also have the Ethnic Ensemble, which I believe is also a free kit, um, a free sort of freebie into their world of Splash Sound. And I believe that is all of the Splash Sound stuff. Actually, one more, High Percussion, a very similar UI to the first two, uh, the other two there. And this is just a High Percussion. So I think you have some some tambourines and stuff in there. Again, I'm not going to play any of the sounds, any of the sounds there. So that is our splash sound stuff. Next, we have Audio Imperia, this deconstruct freebie. This is a free one, again, um, a free one you can find online. Uh, just some really heavily distorted uh, sounds, percussion sounds, and elements and things like that. Um, then we have Audio Already Malachi Percussion. Um, you have some effects you can throw in there. I believe it already has distortion built in, but you can add more distortion. Another freebie. Um, so definitely check that one out. Um, Audio Already Malachi Percussion. Next, we have Spitfire Audio Originals Drumline Series. This is basically a marching band that you can have sort of those drum rolls, uh, different cymbal elements. You have the ensemble, but the marching band type stuff in your uh, sync stuff, your trailer stuff. Um, I have this in my template when I need that type of sound. Uh, another freebie is the Stretch Off Sampling Thunder Extreme freebie. These are like taiko drums. Um, you have a lot of, lot of power in here. You have the all these different types of mic settings. You have different zones you can adjust. A really, really powerful plugin. So definitely check that out. Thunder Extreme freebie by Stretch Off Sampling. Another free one. Um, next, we have Spitfire Audio Originals. Um, Cinematic Percussion, the Spitfire Audio, the Drumline, and the Cinematic Percussion, um, those are all $29 or 29 pounds or 29 euros, I believe. So very, 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 very inexpensive. But I use this to add percussion elements, obviously, um, to my tracks 
uh, cinematic uh, percussion from Spitfire Audio. Uh, we also have Spitfire Audio Percussion Metal. This is the same cinematic percussion. Um, I just have different instances of it to adjust uh, for different layers in percussion. So I have the middle, the high, the lows. Um, so this would be the metal hits, sort of the high, high mid. Um, and let me see, there are two more Spitfire Audio. I have tams and gongs from the percussion to add some cymbals type things. And then I also have uh, cymbals uh, from the cinematic percussion. Um, so that is it for Spitfire Audio. Next, we will go to Project Sam. Um, this is a series of free uh, instruments and sounds that are in their free orchestra. For this one, I have Power Strike, which are sort of some powerful percussion hits that you can just layer. Um, it's usually what one octave there, one octave and one note um, of notes, but you just hit it and it'll just have this powerful strike in there. So definitely check that out. And then we also have Heavy Ocity Play It Forward 2021. Um, this was a donation where I believe you could have got it for free, but you will donate to a cause. Um, and I, it might still be out there where you can donate uh, to a cause, a really great cause by Heavy Ocity. Has some great loops in there. You can change the key here. You can change the volume, the pan, the tune. You can add some punch to it, add some reverb here in space. Very, very powerful plugin. I use a lot of the percussion elements in here um, by clicking here and going to percussion loops for some of my uh, sync stuff. So very powerful plugin there. Next we have Riverwood Air uh, Raw Metallic Percussion. It is a free plugin, uh, just some metal percussion. There's some great effects built in there, uh, but a really, really great plugin to check out. Uh, the final two in my drums of percussion are the Pulse Setter Sounds Epic Babies Percussion. This was free uh, maybe a year or two ago for as part of the holiday deal. There might be a great deal on it right now to get it for low cost. Really, really powerful library. Don't be deceived. The baby opens his eyes when you play notes. I went, Hopefully you won't. See, he opened his eyes. Hopefully that didn't blow your ears away. It almost blew my ears away. Um, but uh, you have a lot of powerful uh, settings here. You can go um, to different, uh, when you have the DAW, or when you have the plugin open, you have different settings, and then you can go up here to even find more options for different sounds. And then in some of those, you have sub options. So there's a very powerful plugin. Definitely check out Pulse Artist Sounds, Epic Babies. I also have the Drum Loops um, one open here in case I need those loops. This has combo loops, uh, some thermal loops, different things like that. So I have that available in case I need it in my tracks. So that is my drums and percussion. What I'm gonna do for this particular video as I go through each of them, I'm gonna actually delete the actual um, stem because it's gonna save up some space on my hard drive for this video. So let me delete that. Next we have stomps, claps, snaps, shouts. And why do I call it that? Because there is a really, really great free plugin that Red Room Audio released. Uh, I don't know how long ago, maybe from several years ago, but I just got it again this year. I had it before, but I really started using it this year for some of my high energy sync stuff. It's part of my free plugins gear guide. Go to defingers.com slash free plugins. This one is in there. Snaps, claps, slaps, stomps, and shouts. It's a really powerful plugin for having those sounds. So you have a series of, of guys and girls and they're shouting, stomping, clapping, slapping. You can adjust the size of how many people are clapping or snapping or shouting or whatever. You have effects built in. It is a powerful plugin. I'm surprised they're giving this away for free. I don't know how long it's going to be free, but it's been free for a couple of years, so it'll probably be free forever. But definitely check that out. Great free plugin for using that type of sound. Another free one, um, you have to Google this, G-Town Stomps. I got this a few years ago. Um, just some great stomps in there that you can just hit and get those stomp sounds. You can add some effects if you want to it, but really, really um, not, not no UI, so you just hit the sounds, use them as you need it. Next is Embertone Body Percussion Ensemble. I don't think this is, this is free. It might have been free when it came out, um, but still really low cost. Body percussion, so you have some of those claps, some of those stomp sounds. Um, body percussion sounds. I think they might even be hitting their chest and stuff like that. So really great body percussion from Embertone. And last in this category, we have Loops de la Creme, Claps, Stomps, and Snaps. You have those three sounds and these different layers, so you can definitely check that out. Um, I don't remember the cost of this one either, so forgive me, uh, but Loops de la Creme, uh, Claps, Stomps, and Snaps. So that is all for the Stomps, Claps, Snaps, and Shouts. Check that out. All right, uh, next we have NRA Lab cinematic drum loops. So this actually is a library that I created, but the loops are free online. I was looking for some drum loops for my cinematic stuff, my for my trailer stuff, and I came across this series of drum loops that someone had op uh, uploaded to YouTube and I downloaded them and I created a drum uh, library using Drum Machine Designer here in Logic Pro X. And what I did was I dragged each loop onto uh, a Drum Machine Designer and just made sure that it matched the tempo of whatever track I'm in. So whatever track I'm using, if I'm on a different tempo, all these loops will match to the tempo. And you have, what is this, 11 uh, loops in there with really great loops, um, heroic drums. This is in three, four times. Some of them are in four, four. Actually, you have more. You have um, heroic drums, you have shakers, you have snares, you have tambourines. So you have 31 actually sounds in there. So really, really great. Look for that online on YouTube, NRA Lab, Cinematic Drum Loops. And then you can go in here and you can use it how you want to use it in your DAW. For me, it was just easier to create a drum machine track in here and then have them sync to the tempo as I need it for my track. So really, really great loops on there. Uh, even though you can do that with other loops that you 
find on YouTube. You can drag them in, create your own track. If they're just WAV files, create your own sort of sampler in there so that you can use it in your productions. That is great. NRA Lab, thank you for putting that out there. Next, we have piano. The main piano that I've been using for the cinematic stuff is the Sound Yeti uh, Revelation Scoring Grand. Um, it is a contact instrument. I don't know, some of these might be contact full, some of these might be contact players, so definitely check that out. Even some of the freebies might only be contact full, um, or they may be limited with the freebie of the contact player where you can only use it for 10 minutes or however long that is. Um, Revelation Scoring Grand, I've used this for all of the trailer music uh, tracks that I did on my last trailer music album. I'm using this on my next, my current trailer music album. So this is really great. What I really like about it is that you can just hit this randomized button down here and it'll randomize all the layers so you have strings pads all these different elements built in under the piano sound the main piano sound and you can reset the layers if you need it you have a lot of power in here uh, adjusting the volume and the microphones very powerful plugin shout out to sound yeti they really hit it out the park with revelation scoring grand i have other pianos let's go to spitfire audio original media toolkit piano this is again another 29 dollars 29 pound library i think the revelation scoring grand is a little bit uh 140 ish maybe 150 um that might be on sale now a lot of times they do some deals around the holidays where you can get it like 30 percent 40 50 percent off Spitfire Audio Originals Media Toolkit, $29, 29 pounds, 29 euros. Um, I used the piano in there. There's some other great sounds. There's flute effects, there is guitar, there is marimba, there is metallophones, um, but I use the piano in this particular case for this template, um, which is a great piano sound to use. You can also layer a pad and the C3 EP in there. You have some reverb built in. It's a very powerful plugin. Next is the Gentleman Piano from Native Instruments. Upright piano, you can have really intimate sound, but you can also dial it into some hard uh, tone. You can adjust the dynamic range, really powerful again. Some uh, reverb built in, so you have all the effects built in that you might need to create a really great sound. Really great for intimate type sounds, but you can also build it out to have a powerful sort of upright sound. That is the Gentleman Piano. The next three are Logic Stock Pianos. There's no really uh, fancy UI like some of the other plugins, but Yamaha Grand Piano, Bosendorfer Grand Piano, and the Steinway Grand Piano. Great sound, depending on how what kind of sound you're looking for for your track. Um, I like to use those depending on the sound that I need for my track. So Project Sam, again, the free orchestra. This is Ominous Lows. It has the piano sort of low notes layered with uh, maybe some timpani or maybe some low strings or low brass. Um, really great as part of that free orchestra series. So definitely check that out for free. It is also included in my free template, thefingers.com slash free plugins. Check that out. Uh, then we also have Scarby Mark. One, this is not a grand piano, but an electric piano that I use in my template sometimes. I haven't used it yet for like sync stuff, but I have that in there. This is a Native Instruments uh, Mark One, Scarby Mark One piano, electric piano, but the Logic. Uh, uh, DAW has a great, great uh, electric piano built into there also. So if you don't want to buy an electric piano, um, I believe I got this as part of a deal or it might have come for free um, or in a contest or something. But if you don't want to buy one and you use Logic or whatever DAW you use, they might already have a lot of these sounds built in that will work great for your production. That is the piano. So let me delete that. Uh, next, we have strings. I'm not going to go over the... Um, the processing I have on these, I'm just showing you the tracks themselves, the uh, the, the plugins that I'm using for the sounds. Um, so let me, I can't open all these at once. I'll just try to see if I can do these one at a time. Um, and actually I'll do the BBC SO, uh, which is a great library from Spitfire Audio. So we have the BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover series here. And this is basically um, a free orchestra that you can get. If you fill out a survey, they will send it to you within two weeks, or you can pay, I think, $49. It's also part of a current deal that they have going on, I believe, for the next couple days as part of Black Friday weekend or Black Weekend, where you can get this as part of their The Ton deal, where you get three great Spitfire Audio libraries for $100. I do not work for any of these companies um, at all. I don't get paid or endorsed by them at all, even though some of them do uh, provide some libraries for free. Spitfire Audio is not one of them, but some of them do provide libraries for me to check out. But Spitfire Audio, BBC Symphony Orchestra, check this out. Violins, violins too, violas, Shelly, bass. You have the red is the horns, the blue is the woodwinds, and the yellow is percussion. So a really, really great fun library that you could add. Actually, I need to add the percussion to this template so that I can have it up in the percussion section. I forgot to do that, and this video has reminded me to do that. So I need to add the percussion up there um, at some point. But this is great for the strings. What I have done is broken them out. So I have violins one, violins two, violas, Shelly, and the basses. So I can use that as needed, or I can uh, record them all at once and layer that sound. Next, I have Spitfire Audio Symphonic Motions, which is great for adding those symphonic uh, sort of riffs and runs um, elements. You can have different layers of different sounds. So you can have like hard, soft, pizzicato, spiccato, different sort of 
um, articulations of the string section. You have a lot of presets here that I like to just start with and then dial into. So what I would do is start with like a great preset. If it's a sound that I really like, I would play it and see if it works along with the track that I'm doing. And then if I want to adjust, I would go to Feeling Lucky and have it randomize some of the um, articulations, some of the settings here based on the um, note, the, uh, the tempo, the if it's going to be an eighth note or however long. So that is great. I like just hitting that Feeling Lucky and seeing what happens with that option. That is Symphonic Motions by Spitfire Audio. Next is uh, Sun Underscore one, two, three. I have three sun underscore um, uh, elements here. So let's see if I can get all three of those open up. And the first one will be the Orchestra Essentials, which is, I believe, $99. Um, basically some great, great custom built uh, uh, orchestral things. There's brass in there. There is brass and strings. Um, it is just an entryway into the Sun Score uh, world. Actually, the next two will be free, but this one is $99. So definitely check that out. You have mixed basic 16th. You have some of their series in here where you can have sort of a whole built out orchestral uh, riff section. Um, I use these a lot in some of my productions. Under Pressure is a great one. I think that's the default one, but some of these are built in. And of course, you can buy more like Strings of Winter, Horns of Hell. Uh, you, then you can build your own user presets. So this is a great entry level into the Sun Score world. Um, $99, I believe is the price for that it might be also on sale also uh next to our freebies these are really really great um these are also part of my free template i'm not going to show you everything that's in my free login uh free plugins uh guide but this is also in there free hd orchestra chords basically you hold down one note if you press it uh, hard it's minor if you press it soft it's a major chord um down here is sort of the whole shebang um all the string orchestral section right here will be the lows and the mids and the highs really really great plugin check it out um check out some reviews online download it for free they did something similar also with just strings so that last one was strings and brass this is just strings so check out the um, hd orchestra chord and the sustained string chords from sun score i don't know if i'm saying the name right sun you score sun score but i like the stuff you guys are doing we actually have some more stuff in this um thing that i'm going to show a little bit later so let's close those out or let's at least power them off um let's see and then next we have spitfire audio intimate strings we also have epic strings so let's see if we can turn both of those on and we have chamber evolutions and orchestral storm strings and i think that would be all for spitfire audio strings so intimate strings if it's part of the original series again 29 dollars, 29 pounds um, i like to go in here depending on the track that i'm using i might actually layer that to get some other uh articulations from there but uh the intimate strings actually might have deleted but i had intimate strings epic strings and you have different articulations if you click the drop down here you can check out the articul articulations in both of those um epic strings is a, a wider ensemble a larger ensemble intimate strings is a smaller ensemble and then you also have uh click the big knob you have reverb release tightness this will adjust depending on the sound you have um what these settings are click whatever setting you want to change and then use the knob here to change that you can also change it down here so very powerful plugin you can automate any of these things you have different uh, mic settings here, different elements to adjust the tone of the thing. And this is, I believe, dynamics and expression. I might have those backwards, expression and dynamics, but that is what these two things, and I usually automate this with a foot pedal. I usually have them at the same level. Um, some people have different sliders and things they use to automate these separately. Um, so however, whatever works best for you to automate this is really great to have that realism built into your um, production. And we'll go to Chamber Evolution, Spitfire Audio, all of for Arnold's Chamber Evolution. This is great for having sort of like a... Uh, I would say, um, higher on the high string side, sort of like flautando type things. Uh, I like the chamber waves, especially for some of the low stuff. And I like to use the close mic here, um, very powerful plugin. And again, I like to automate the dynamics and expression with a foot pedal. I just control click on there and learn MIDI CC, MIDI CC, and then I can move my pedal to learn sort of the automation there. Um, so really great plugin. You have some bubbles that pop, pop up to tell you what the set, different settings are. You can adjust the reverb, the delay, tape saturation. I actually have two of these layered together. I have chamber waves also. And then I also have the chamber grid, which uses their Evo technology to just to just adjust notes as you hold it down long. So if I click the um, randomize with any, the longer I hold that chord, there'll be different subtle changes within the note. Um, really, really great way to have a chord uh, evolve as you hold it for long periods of time. Definitely check that out. Olafur Arnold's Chamber Evolutions. I believe the Olafur Arnold's Evolutions, not necessarily Chamber Evolutions, is part of the ton deal also. So where you can get the BBC SO, you can get this all for $100. And I believe there's one other library in there that you can get for $100. So definitely check that out as part of the Black Weekend deal that will probably go away in a couple days. So definitely check that out. Spitfire Audio, uh, Spitfire Audio Orchestral Swarm Strings. I use this to layer some strings, which has a, a different type of string articulation. It's, it's like a swarming, like a wave coming in um, where you can hold it down. It'll play these different waves. I really just like the sound of it, especially when you layer it with some of the more um, normal string sounds. Uh, really great to layer under that. You have some reverb, variation, expression, dynamics, um, and then different mic settings here. So that is all for the Spitfire Audio string stuff. Next we have 
sound iron hyperion strings elements which is a great great string library um i believe i don't know the i don't remember the price but i believe it's inexpensive what i like to do here is find an articulation that i need and then i like to automate the swell with the foot pedal um the, to, so that I, I can automate the volume coming in and out um with my foot pedal and that is the automation i like to use you have different layers of sounds here you have the ensemble you can add an effects reverb you can add an assistant arpeggio so very powerful plugin from sound iron definitely check that one out next i have another one from sun score the phrases compilation this is actually a free one that came out you have to do a little bit of tweaking if depending on the key you're using because it'll tell you the key that these uh, riffs are in so if this is an a minor and your song is in let's say b minor you may have to raise it up uh, two semi two semitones there so you have to know a little bit of music theory to make it work and you may also have to adjust the speed depending on the tempo of your track to make this loop these loops work with your track but really great way to get some interesting riffs and runs for free in your productions you have romance you have one two, three, four, five, five elements in there. Um, most of them are in minor. This one's an A Dorian, so you have to learn a little bit of theory to figure out what that means. I'm not gonna go into that right now, but you also have some reverb settings here. You can adjust the reverb mix there. Very powerful plugin, and again, it is free. So check that out. Next we have, uh, we'll go through all of these Project Sam ones. Um, which are part of the free orchestra library. We're gonna start with short strings. I like to just use this to add some little short string stabs in there or some uh, short string sort of ostinatos or riffs in there. You can adjust attack, release, filter, saturation, reverb, limiter. You can also add an octave in there if you wanna have the octave or setup. So this is really great. I believe it's a similar UI on all the other ones. We'll go to Sordino strings, check that one out. Um, again, Sordino strings, really high sort of, uh, uh, na not nasally, but a really high EQ string sound that you can use in your productions. Really great. You also have bombastic, bombastic and bombastic, bombastic basses. The Jamaican is coming out. Bombastic basses again. Really uh, low bass energy uh, string sounds in there. You have two hits, which are some really fun hits that you could have in there um, in your production. Then you have tongue and cheek. Uh, another one, a fun library. This is really fun for animation type things where you have some fun sounds in there. Not necessarily strings, but definitely a fun one for the animation type things. And then finally we have ghostly clusters. This is great for, it would have been great for the October month, but also great if you're doing thriller type things where you can have sort of slow builds of like different chord train sounds. If you know what a train sounds like, have that in like brass and things like that. Um, there are some strings in there. So I've just layered it with the string section here. But that is all I have. Again, those Project Sam ones are all free. So definitely check that out. That is all the strings. Let me see if I can delete this without blowing up my computer. Fingers crossed so that I can free up some more space on here and we can get on to the brass. All right, so let's keep it going with the brass. Again, we showed the Spitfire Audio BBC SO Discover uh, in the string section. So just to show you what's in the brass here, we have the horns, we have the trumpets, the tenor trombones, the bass trombones, and the tuba. I have those broken out here also by each element. They are basically the same. You have uh, long st staccatissimo, um, you have uh, dynamics expression here you can automate that and you also have a uh, volume adjust there you have tuning panning so very powerful again this is a freebie that you can get by filling out a survey or you can pay 49 I believe dollars to get this um, for a really inexpensive really great entry level into the BBC as sales for our audio world so definitely check that out let me see if it'll let me delete these brass instruments next we have some keep forest elements um, from the Evolution Atlantica series. I have the panoramed bends. Uh, the, the UI on all these, um, again, are pretty similar for the Keep Forest stuff. Panoramed bends, where basically the brass can bend up. I can adjust the tempo. I can adjust the key as needed. Very powerful plugin. You can adjust different effects in there. Um, modulation, same with the growling brass. Uh, let's see if I can get that up there. Uh, that is panoramed bends. This is the growling brass, a uh, low like brass, uh, growls so very 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 great sound for that low energy um, very great for trailer music sync stuff um this is epic bends again some of the bends um like the panoram bends but this one doesn't have the panoramic it just bends in the stereo field um so it doesn't go pan like left to right or right to left then we have low brass really great for powerful just low brass hits so all in the keep forest evolution atlantica series really great for trailer music stuff sync music stuff so definitely check that out next is probably my favorite uh brass library sound iron hyperion brass elements really great library really great sounds in there very similar to the hyperion strings elements library the ui is pretty similar except this is all horns and brass so you get the effects the space the uh Pregios, play assist um different articulations and i usually automate the swell in there so really great powerful plugin next we have a number of the spitfire audio ones so we will get all of those light uh, lit up uh, we have the originals epic brass and woodwinds again another 29 dollars as part of the original series in the uh, spiffer audio world we have the orchestral swarm brass so similar to the orchestra <coughs> 
excuse me, we have the orchestral swarm brass, similar to the orchestral swarm strings. We have the swarm horns. Uh, this is all part of the orchestral swarm series, so the same library. And then we have bones and tuba. So I just broke all those out to different tracks here. And then finally, uh, we have, actually we have one more Spitfire Audio uh, Grand Brass, part of the Abbey Road series. Um, you can get the full Abbey Road Orchestra, I believe, currently on sale as part of the Black Weekend. But I have the Grand Brass particularly here, which is a $49, I believe, library, um, where you just have some of the great low brass sounds, powerful brass in there. And then finally, in the brass section, we have a number of the Project uh, Sam Free Orchestra stuff in there. I have Heroic Horns, which is great to have like one or two octaves there, one octave, uh, one and a half octaves of the Heroic horn, horn elements. I like to have a solo horn in that uh, sound, Heroic Horns. Then you have Pandora, pa Pandora Panic, try to say that 10 times fast, um, from the their Pandora series. And then Pandora Burst, which I really like to have um, at the end of sort of the... Uh, trailer music stuff because it's a high energy you hit it it's a timpani and brass and strings all layered together really great sound for high energy uh sync stuff so that is the pandora burst that is all of my brass stuff let's turn that off let's see if i can um get rid of that okay next we have woodwinds and let's see if we can get this turned on um we have the spitfire audio bbc so discover again um that looks very similar to the other ones it's just the blue ones here you have piccolo flutes oboes clarinets and bassoons, so you have all that there. I have those broken down. Then I also have the Spitfire Audio Epic Woodwinds from the um, Epic Brass and Woodwinds, another $29 library. I just go here, go to Woodwinds, and you can select either live, uh, long, or short. And the UI is very similar to the, some of the other um, that has this one knob and then some select settings down at the bottom. And then I also have Orchestral Swarm, again, that again, with the Woodwinds high and low. Uh, a new one in the sort of Woodwinds element, um, Stress Off Sampling has Balkan Ethnic Orchestra. I believe this might be a freebie, so definitely check that out. I have the Duduk Tenor. Um, loaded up here so really great to have that sort of ethnic uh woodwind sound and then we also have stress off sampling the zhao freebie i believe this was also free i don't know if this still is free but i believe this was free um really just a great another uh, woodwind type sound there with the uh the jade ethnic orchestra from um, stress off sampling and then finally i have wild winds from project sam the free orchestra again you hold down something it does like a really great riff which is great for, for the end of um uh uh uh, uh, uh end of a run or the end of something like that you can have that's sort of like a, a flute run or a woodwind run really great for that let's turn that off that is all the woodwinds i have there um and again i didn't mention this but there are some stock things in logic that would work great the logic stock strings you have some articulations in there there are logic stock woodwinds things there are, there are things that are stock and logic that would work great i don't have them in this template particularly um, i'm just showing you some third-party stuff so let's check out vocals next for vocals, I like to use um, these few elements here. We're gonna turn all those on and hope that nothing crashes. Um, starting with uh, my new favorite plugin that I've been using a lot on the hip hop side, R&B side, Glaze from Native Instruments. Uh, this just came out this past summer. Really great plugin for having those vocal elements. They have vocal riffs in there. What I like to use it for in the sync and trailer music stuff is the um, um, the pads. So I like to have the pads and the leads. So I like to use pads to just have a choir sort of sound layered. You can layer two different sounds from four incredible singers. The singers included are Candace Boyd, Kit Blackshire, Beast Slade, and Sonna Rele. All great, incredible vocalists um, by Native Instruments. This great plugin also put out by an incredible vocal producer, music producer um sauce curtis sauce wilson um i won't go too much into that but i really like this plugin um so definitely check out glaze plugin next i have two from sound iron sound iron voice of wind audrey um a really great uh uh uh, plug-in from Sound Iron with some great vocal riffs and elements in there. Uh, I also have them on the side here um, so I can load them up. I can load up different sort of uh, staccatos, legatos, sustains, some different phrases, custom phrases built in. They're broken down by tempo, but then you can adjust as needed for your track. You can sync it to your tempo. So I really like to sync it to whatever I'm doing, or sometimes I just play a different note. Um, and it'll tell you the note of, sometimes it'll tell you the note of the phrase. So if it's in C and I'm in B flat, I just have to pitch it down again, um, let's say two semitones. So you have to know a little bit of music theory there. Um, same with the sound uh, iron voice of wind kimba. I also use that in my template um, where you have some legato awes. So different just vocal elements there. Uh, next, we have another free one from Spitfire Audio Lab series. This is Spitfire Audio Labs Choir. This is the only vocal or choir sound, I believe, in the lab series. I might be wrong, um, but yeah, it's, it's the only one that shows up there. So uh, choir long, really great for holding out. I think it's from their Eric Whitaker Choir Library, which also might be on sale, but don't, don't quote me on that. Sound Iron, I believe, also has a lot of stuff on sale right now, uh, Black Weekend, so just check out all these libraries. Um, this one is free, uh, so you can download the choir uh, in the lab series, and then I just have that in my choir vocal template for the trailer stuff. I can hold them out, usually for chords and stuff. Nothing, I'm not doing solo stuff there. I usually do the solo stuff with either uh, Glaze or the Voice of Wind uh, stuff from Sound Iron. And then finally, more chord stuff I do for the choir. This is part of the free orchestra from Project Sam, uh, Luminous Choir uh, from the free orchestra 
orchestra. I have that in my choir sort of setting here. Um, uh, really great, hold it out for long also. You can adjust the attack if you want it to not wait as long to fade in, but um, I really like having that. So that is all the vocal stuff I have. Let's delete that. We're getting there next, and I believe the rest will be mostly effects types things. Um, then I'll end with some synths. So next we have booms, drops, downers, sub hits. Sometimes they're called downshifters. Uh, I've heard all kinds of settings or names for this. I'm just really learning about this stuff. Um, I've downloaded a lot of, a lot of these I've actually had over the years. Um, and I've just really created, I, re I really created this template a few weeks ago. So um, I'm finalizing it, I'm changing it as I get new libraries that are great for trailer music. Um, FMG, Fallout Music Group, this is free. So Shelter Booms, you have uh, a couple of octaves of boom sounds in there, some really great plugins uh, in there. I believe this is free, don't quote me. I believe Fallout Shelter, this is uh, Fallout Music Group, this is free. Um, so you have some great effects in there. So those are some booms you can add in. This is really that boom type sound that you have. Um, again, they're called all these different types of things. Um, Keep Forest Atlantica booms. Um, again, uh, Keep Forest Evolution Atlantica. Uh, same UI as you saw with the brass, um, but I have the booms one here. Uh, same with drops. Um, this is just a different se uh, section of that library. Drops. Um, and then Alex Pfeffer, a really, really incredible uh, composer um, who uh, makes trailer music. He has a great YouTube channel on trailer music. I have some of his libraries in this template, including this one, Tonal Downers, uh, for two bars. So very similar drops and downers and types of things. I also have ABA Music Group Downers in here from their Instinct library. Uh, I also have sub hits, I believe, from Instinct. And then I also have sub hits from the Keep Force Atlantica. So those are the, the booms, drops, downers, sub hits, down shifters, whatever you want to call them, those are all categorized into that element there um, in this template. So I have those. Uh, next we have whooshes and whoosh bangs. So this is what things that have sort of like a whoosh psh, and then it'll have like a bang or a hit at the end and I just hit the microphone. Um, so these are again similar elements of these other libraries. I have AVA Music Group whoosh bangs um, from the Instinct library. I also have whooshes from Instinct. I have the Keep Forest Evolution Atlantica whooshes. So what I did is I took a day to go through, go through each of the libraries I had. Um, this is this isn't even all the libraries I have. These are the ones that came to mind for trailer music, and I just created this template, and I'll keep adding and maybe deleting stuff I don't use. But Keep Forest Evolution Atlantic Wishes. I also have Panorama Wishes. I have Panorama Wish Hit. So this is the wish that'll go into a hit. And then I have Modern Wishes. So a lot of those are very similar. Um, again, I don't use all of these in one track. I might just use a sound or two from each, from, from one or two of the tracks, um, and then delete the ones I don't use in a given track. Next, we have Riser. So this is really great for building up um, the end of a track or building up to sort of a drop or a break where you have a lot of stuff just, just rising. Um, so it's almost like a roller coaster. It just rises. Uh, so let's go to um, AVA Music Group again from the Instinct Library risers. A couple of risers there. I have Fallout Music Group risers. Again, I believe this is free. So another freebie. And then Keep Forest Evolution Atlantic risers from their Evolution series. It should be risers even though I have rises, but another great one. Um, I also have a lot of uh, stuff from like a sound effects uh, where I bring in audio files. I don't have them in templates, but I have uh, a sound effect libraries from a lot of their uh, signature cinematic stuff that I can bring in as audio and adjust as needed for the track. These are just, I'm just showing you the DAW specific plugins that I use in this DAW. Uh, next we have hits and impacts. Again, similar libraries. I have, uh, let's get all these turned on. Uh, I have ABA music group hits um, from the in Instinct again. Uh, I have the group hits. I have the tonal hits from Alex Pfeffer. I like the UI here, really great. These are tonal hits. I can adjust the key here. Um, so depending on what key I'm using, and then all of these will play uh, a different hit in that key. So if I'm doing, uh, let's say D minor, I can just hit any of these notes and it'll play a really, really great um, uh, sort of tonal hit and it'll hold out for a little bit. So really great to have that from Alex Pfeffer. I also have transforming hits from Evolution Atlantica from Keep Forest. We have epic trailer hits from Keep Forest. Uh, punch metal hits. So again, I broke all those out into different tracks here so that I could use them as needed. Short punch hits. And then pulsar to sound. You might remember Epic Babies from up top. Um, we have Metal Storm impacts here um, just to have some different impact sounds. And I also have trailer hits here from uh, Metal Storm. I believe these two might also be free. Um, so definitely check that out if you can. Uh, Metal Storm impacts and Metal Storm trailer hits. Those are the hits and impacts that I have in here. Next, we have effects. Um, so we'll go through some of these. Uh, there are some new ones in there that I might not have talked about yet. So we have Audio Imperia, Epic Trailers Main Engines. I believe this is free. So there's just different effects in there. Each note is a different effect. You have some different effects on the effects you can have up here. So really great to have that. Uh, transition Shutters from Keep Forest Evolution. Um, again, same UI, uh, very, very great uh, animation built in there. And I also have Classic Alarms from there, um, from that plugin. So if you're doing sirens and different things like that, they also have regular alarms, Atlantica Alarms from the Evolution series and Tonal Reversed Effects 
uh, in there from the Keep Force Evolution series. Uh, I also have Mammoth Audio Density Light. This is a freebie. You can upgrade to a paid version. With Density Light, there's some uh, effects you can build in. You can build in a Rise or Brahms or Flash. Uh, so this could really go in some of those other effects areas, but there's different effects in here and you can have different layers. So you can have one on one side and one on the other side, play different notes. You can add in distortion, you can mangle it. Uh, those are the master effects. Uh, ADSR on both sides. Very powerful plugin, all for free, and then you could upgrade for a higher end one if you want a higher end, but that is the density free version, density light. Um, next, we have Pulsar to Sounds, Epic Babies, you might remember from the percussion section. We also have trailer sounds in here, so you can go here, check out these different trailer sounds. There are Brahms impacts, so I could break these out and layer these with some of the other sections, also with the swooshes. If you remember back at the whoosh things, I should break this out and have that in some of those other areas as well. Epic Babies, uh, Pulsar to Sounds, another great library. Then we have Sound Yeti Collision Effects from Sound Yeti. If you remember the piano side, I had the Revolution Scoring Grand up there. This is Collision Effects from their library. Um, some great things in there. Let's Let's see if I can open that up uh, really quick. You have some textures, you have um, environments, you have themes, movement, stingers, tempo, six sequences. So really great library to have some different elements there from Sound Yeti. So that is all of the effects that I have in this template currently, um, I'll say currently. Uh, next we have Brahms. We have a couple of handful of those. Um, those are the brum. That is my terrible brum. Uh, sample somebody sample that and make a brum element out of that. Instinct uh, again from AVA Music Group. I also have Keep Force Evolution Inception Brahms Two. They also have Inception Brahms. Um, so I broke those out. And then again, Pulsator uh, Metal Storm Brahms. I have that from the Metal Storm series here. So definitely check that out. Uh, the Brahms here are uh, some of them are untonal, so they don't have a tone. And then some of them might be in a key. So if this one says like Brahms and D, just change the tune here. If you're in C, you want to go down two semi tone so it'll be in C if you're in uh, D sharp or D flat you want to go down one semi tone so you have to know again that music theory comes into play there so definitely check that out uh the last two are some of the more tonal type stuff so we're going to go to drones pads guitars I actually want to add a pad here um because um I keep forgetting that I, I really like these pads um that I want to add and I might I might add it and show you how I would add something to the template um I would just create a new track and then I would add uh, the pads I'm thinking about is the original series I'm not going to save it in this one I just know I need to add it the cinematic pads is another great library um, $29.29. Pound. Uh, the color would be off, but I would add this to my library. Um, great pads in here from Spitfire Audio uh, that you can go in there. You can adjust a mellow, bright, cinematic. You have similar settings to some of the other original series. The One Knob series um, have this sort of similar design, so you get used to the UI once you get used to using it. Um, but that would be the originals elements, uh, originals uh, cinematic pads from Spitfire Audio. Uh, that I would add to my template if I remember next time I open it up. Um, but the pads I do have in there, I have AVA Music Group Drone from the Instinct Library. I have Emergence Audio Quantum. This has just been updated to version two. So if you don't have it, definitely check it out. Some really, really great pads, some great pulses in there, some great low energy stuff or low uh, synth stuff in there. Really great um, for the pads, drones, and guitars. Um, I have Dystopian Drones from Project Sam, another free one from the Free Orchestra. And then I have the Keep Force Evolution Double Doom Guitar from Evolution. Atlantica. I also have the regular Doom guitar, not Double Doom. And then we also have, excuse me, we also have Heaviosity scoring guitars, which is not showing up here, but it should be. Let's open that up really quick so you can see what that looks like. Um, I'll just open one of those up. Um, but scoring guitars, this is what the UI typically looks like. You have sort of the volume intensity knob there, and then all these incredible settings, reverb, course, delay, distortion, ADSR. Um, you can sample it, twist it, punish it. Um, uh, so you have uh, some elements there uh, for the uh, heaviosity scoring guitars too. Another great one. That is in my drones, pads, guitars. Again, I'll probably add the original cinematic pads if I remember next time uh, I open up the template. Uh, last but not least, we have synth. So if you remember when I opened, I believe I had, when I opened the session, I believe I had 174 tracks. Um, so I broke them down by element. We'll go through the synths that I have. Um, again, I would probably add, um, uh, actually I probably won't add it much to the synths here, but we have the Atlantic Pulses, Keep Force Evolution. You've been seeing this through uh, some of the other elements here. Uh, uh, pulses, I have the synth menu. This is great because I can build my synth. If I go to a synth menu here, I can build out a synth, a uh, uh, custom synth in this element. This is in beta, I believe right now, but you can go in here, you can say, I want this sound layered with, uh, I think you get up to four sounds. You can layer, um, you can layer uh, basses, leads, plugs, pads, drones, and it'll layer them into these slats here, and then you can customize them. So really great builder. I can build lights, pads, drones, 
uh, pads, uh, pads, pads, plucks, leads, bases. So synth builder, build your own custom synth that no one else has. Um, I would really like to see a, a randomized button in here. There might be, if there's not a random button, um, keep force team, put a random button here where it'll just build a random synth for me. And then I would love to just have that. And then I can just build that out as needed. Next we have Spitfire Audio uh, Trends Colors PSD, another $29. This is part of their new quality music freak. I believe is the name of the library, part of their new sort of series and label. Um, I really like the synth in here. There's some great loops in there. I like the low end bass stuff. Um, really the, uh, the bass synth and the trends bass. Uh, I really like those. I also like the filtered bass. So really great if you need some of that synth sound. And what I like to do is to throw a, uh, um, if it doesn't have the effect built in, I usually throw a, uh, a filter that has a pulsing effect in there on that plugin. Um, next we have Rigid Audio Meta Wave. Some really, really great plugins in here. This uh, sounds in here. This might have been, I don't know if it was free. I don't remember. Um, but this is uh, over, I want to say 50 sounds, and then now you can customize a lot in there. There are uh, 64 sounds in there, and then um, you can customize the sounds. So in here, you can customize different effects here, have the different layers, volume, reverb, and then um, I can also build in my own custom presets. It's a really, really great library. You can also click random button, it'll choose a random sound um, or random settings for those sounds. So I really like that. Uh, next, we have Alchemy Custom Logic Synth, um, and Alchemy has thousands of sounds in there. Um, you can just go in there. Let's say I want a synth sound. I can go in there, look for synth sounds, and then um, it'll be there. I can also search for sounds. So really great to just use the stock stuff. If I want to especially save on space on the drive, I can just use the stock stuff for the synth stuff. Um, next was a great freebie, and again, part of my free template, um, defingers.com slash free plugins. Check that out. Vital Synth. Um, I changed it. This isn't the, uh, the normal UI. You can download custom skins for it. So I downloaded this skin. I really like this skin for this plugin. Um, I've also downloaded a lot of free sounds that are online. You can buy sounds also, but I just got all the free stuff that I can find online and I put them in here. So definitely check out Vital Synth, a really great synth plugin. It's almost like a free version of like Serum or, or Massive or something like that. So check that out. Um, Next, I have Sound Iron Quadril. I'm um, really great for having uh, sort of these sounds, art, bass, effects, leads, pads, plugs. I really like the pads, the leads, and the bass sounds um, for the cinematic uh, trailer stuff, uh, sync stuff. So I like to have that. You can layer different elements here and you can adjust each one accordingly. And you also have effects built in. Um, the effects panels is pretty much custom in all the Sound Iron libraries. So definitely check that out. Last but not least, we've shown this before, Spitfire Audio Labs, again, is a free plugin. It's part of my free plugin plugins gear guide. Definitely check out the guide. Check out Spitfire Audio Labs because I'm giving you even a bonus freebie with that one if you get the guide and check out the lab section in that guide. Thefingers.com slash free plugins. I have this here under Synth because what I would do is go here, go to Synth, and then check out whatever Synth sounds I need to use. Pedal pads or Synth pads or piano pads or modular pianos or whatever, textural pads. So a lot of pads and Synths in there. Really great. That is everything. I think I finally made through it. That is my template. Again, I broke it down from all 174 tracks down to the last nine here, but that is the template that I use here in Logic Pro X. Let me see if I can open it up for you one more time. We'll just go new from template. Um, I have some other templates. I actually got to go to, um, I don't want to save that. I'm gonna, I got to go to um, do some other videos on the other templates I use here. I might do a template week, um, so definitely be on the lookout for that. But the sync template so far is the biggest template. Actually, it's not the biggest template. Um, if you go to my free plugins guide, you'll see that there are there is a bigger template in there that uh, you might be able to check out. So 174 tracks in here. The biggest one I have, I believe, is close to 250 now. Um, but this is 174. This is my sync template. Those are the plugins I use. Thank you for checking this out. I know this was a long video, probably one of the longest videos I've done, um, especially one of the longest ones without music. Um, so thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, DM me at the fingers on Instagram, D-A-F-I-N-G-A-Z. Again, check out my free plugins gear guide. I have some string stuff in there, some stuff I didn't even show in this one, obviously, but the fingers.com slash free plugins. Check that out. I will send that your way, the free plugins gear guide, along with some bonus stuff for you to check out. Thank you for tuning in. Be safe and be well. Everyone, more music on the way, more videos on the way you already know. All right. All right. Peace.